What is going on everybody and welcome back to TechCube and today we are going to be setting up an application called Mini VMAC and basically what this will do is let us run older Macintosh games and software on a modern PC. Now this is very useful if you want to kind of get a feel um, for some of the applications you used to play long ago um, or want to use some of the older software. Um, there are multiple ways to do this, however, um, this is my favorite by far, um, and it's a very stable program, and it's very easy to set up in my opinion. Um, so yeah, um, without further ado, uh, let's get started. So you are going to need a few things, um, so if I bring this window over here, the first thing you're going to need is to go to this website right here. Everything will be linked down in the description below, as it always is, and you're going to want to get, well, um, you can get Mac OS X, uh, Microsoft Windows or Linux. The, the setup instructions are basically the same for all three. I am on Microsoft Windows today, um, but you can use whatever you want because they basically um, still work um, the same. And they have different versions for um, all the different operating systems. For example, they even have like PowerPC versions of Mac OS um, X. So um, that's pretty good. Um, it works with a lot of stuff. And it runs very fast on my PC. But anyway, um, you should usually get this one right here because um, it's 64-bit and it's Microsoft Windows. That's what almost everybody is going to get. Um, however, your mileage may vary. And the second thing you're going to want to get, um, this is um, blanks right here. This will um, give let us create a virtual hard drive that we can store um, our operating system and stuff on right here. Um, next thing right here, um, you don't need this, but this is highly recommended. This is import FL. This will let us import a lot of the stuff that we need to or want to run on our emulator. Um, export FL is pretty self-explanatory too. It lets us export stuff um, just in case you want to do that. Again, import FL and export FL are optional, but they are pretty useful. Um, the stuff at Expander, which lets us access um, different version, like different file extensions of uh, programs and stuff. For example, .bin files that usually wouldn't work. This let us access those. Um, so yeah, I recommend you pick this up as well. Um, next thing that we are going to need, this is what we are going to need right here. Um, th these are the different versions of um, the system Mac OS X systems you can get. Um, I am I already have system six point zero. Um, point eight right here. This is what I recommend you get and I also have um, This right here system 7.5. So I recommend you get this one right here system uh, 75.zip and system 608.zip um, And our thing we are going to need right here um, Is this VMAC ROM. This will let us kind of start up the thing and get it running um, Yeah, so that's basically everything that we are going to need right here. Um, so we don't need this anymore um, next thing that we are going to need, well, I already have this right here, but this right here is everything that we, you need to download, I guess, uh, to put it simply. So right here, um, this is, so, so what I recommend you do is create a folder called images right here. Now, th now if you use this for a long periods of time, you'll get a lot of images, so I recommend you keep, um, a folder to keep those in. Um, so now you're gonna want to drag blanks in uh, export FL and import FL into the images, um, and you could get these right here: stuff at Expander, System 75, and System 608. You can put those in there as well. Um, now I recommend yet. Yeah, well, you need to. You need to extract that. Um, we don't need that anymore. And um, if we have this right here, um, that is all good. Um, we have the VMAC ROM right here. Um, something I want to do right here, um, well, I guess we don't, well, let's do this. Let's put that in there, and then we start it up right there. And now at this point, you can basically drag a any ROM file that you have, and it will play it. Now, a lot of the other programs required you to basically um, install it on a hard drive, which is pretty useful if you want to keep a bunch of your games and software in the same place. But um, a lot of the earlier ones, you can just have the ROM, you could drag it into there and play it. Um, but no, we are going to create um, a two virtual hard disks on here, and for the two versions of the Mac OS system that we downloaded, 
Um, so first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go back, go to images. Um, uh, now another thing you're going to need to do is you're going to want to extract these all to a separate folder. Um, and then you can delete the other ones right here. And now what you're going to want to do is go into blanks, go into blanks, go into M. Now pick a pretty decently sized image here. I recommend um, 64 megs because that works very well because um, it's the perfect size in my opinion. So I am going to copy this one right here and I'm going to go back to images and I am going to paste it right here. Um, now we can extract here and then we get this a disk file right here. Um, it's a .dsk file. Um, now that's good. Now you now you can delete that right there, and I recommend you go in here and you copy that. Well, you need to, you need to, um, and this will be for our um, different systems. So these will be two different virtual hard disks. So I will call this system six, and I will call the other one right here, and I will call it system. I'm just shortening it by typing sys instead of system, um, and this will be system seven. Now. Um, we can go back here and go back to the original spot where we had our um, mini VMAC right here. And now it will give us this right here. Um, now we want to go back to images and then go back into system 608. Um, and then drag system tools at DSK in here. And then it will load up into this. Now you'll need to put these two right here, drag them into there, and the, this will let us install the operating system. Now the final thing you need to do before we begin installation is put this in here. This will be the virtual hard disk right here. Um, I am going to rename it um, and type SYS6 for System 6. Now we can go in here, System Tools, and we can go to the installer, and then we can click OK. Uh, switch disk right here, um, and right here on the har hard disk name is sys6, um, I guess that's the way to say it. Um, you can go in here and customize. Um, this is really up to you what you want to do for there. Um, but basically what we are going to do here is, since we are emulating a Macintosh Plus, um, I am going to system software for Macintosh Plus. So click install. And then it will install the operating system. And right here, um, we can click quit right there um, and click restart. And now it's restarted. Now we can go back here, um, system six disk right there. And now we have this loaded up just fine. Now go back in here to system um, 75. And what you're going to want to do is drag install disk one in here and that'll do that and then go back here and drag if I don't um, do that right there where I highlight the whole thing like this um, and then I will rename this to SYS7 for system 7 right there and then install disk 1 um, click installer and then it will load up welcome to system 7.5 right there um, it's very fast since we are running this on a modern machine. Uh, and there are different ways to control the speed. For example, you can make it go crazy fast, but um, it, you really don't need to because it goes super fast either way. So I will click switch disk right there. So assist uh, seven, um, you can go in here and select what you want to do. Um, I just recommend going for the easy install and then click install. Now it will take a, a moment to um, get itself ready, but what we are going to need to do is go back into system 75 right here and make sure you have this open with all of the disk images right here because we are going to need them because there's a lot of them that we'll, we, we will need to put into the system or drag them into the system as it goes through the installing process. Um, now it will take a moment right there. Okay, so it's finally started to go. Um, it takes a little bit right there. Um, I've noticed when I was testing this out for myself. Um, this is a bit of a, I, I don't know, it's like the longest process I've done when I tested this out to make sure this method works, of course. Um, preparing to install, um, so it will take a moment, as I said before. Okay, so the installation process started right here. Um, 
Now, of course, this goes super fast, so we will have to insert all of the installation disks as it goes. Uh, now, if you want to, you can click um, Control and then do S right here, um, and then that'll let us um, change the speed. So I press A right there, um, and it, now it'll go even faster. You don't have to do that, but it's pretty cool how fast this stuff goes. So now we need installation disk 3, so we can drag that into there. Now we need installation disk 4, so we can drag that into there. Installation disk 5. A very good installation di disk 6 ready. Um, disk 7. And there we go. So it is just about installed. Um, so now we can quit right there and go back to images. Load uh, system 6 right there. And now what I rec and now what you have to do is go to restart and then drag that system 7 disk back in there. And now system 7 is up and ready to go. Um now let's get to some of the other stuff right here. Um import and export um FL right there. So basically if you want to import you can't just drag everything into the emulator and have it show up there. Um, so import and export FL will let us import and export stuff to and from the um, virtual hard disks on the system. So basically, what I will do is go to import FL right there, and I'll drag that into there. And then I will go to export FL and drag that into there. Now, we can bring these over here. And now I go to the system 7 folder, drag this out a bit. And then I will click new folder, and that, this is something I recommend you do f when you do this, um, so you'll have a space for everything to come onto your system. Um, so I will call it uh, utils, short for utilities. Um, now you can open that up and drag Im export FL and import FL into there. Now you can open now these right here will let you open stuff up basically so you can drag um our stuff into there and you can import it um export fl works the same way um so if you have any games on there from various sites that you can download um you can do that um the final thing that we are going to look over today um it says um ready to import um yeah no we aren't going to be doing that um just yet so we will go back to images and stuff it expander now I recommend you drag that into there and go through the process to install it. You only have to click around a couple bits right there, um, install it into system 7 folder, click install. The installation was successful. And now let's restart our system. Go back to images, system 7 disk. And there we go. For the most part at this point, the installation is done. You can come on here and you could run basically any program or piece of software that um, was on a lot of these Macintosh systems, um, like the classic SimCity um, and a lot of some of the other ones as well. Like there is a lot of stuff out here that you'd be surprised by that is on an older system like this. Um, but that is going to be about it for me today. Feel free to use Import FL to import some programs. And stuff at Expander will let you run it. Um, and yeah, that is basically it for today. Um, I am going to shut down the system now. Right there. It is safe to turn that off now. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Tech Cubed, over and out.